My name is Tom Jacoby. I'm cold and it's dark. We weren't greedy. Scavengers maybe, but is that such a crime? We started early. No one had been here in years. We followed Jim. We always followed Jim. It must have been deep when it happened. We heard nothing. William, excuse me, William Hartford Jr. had to go check it out. We felt so much safer. I much preferred working alone with Claude, but it didn't last. Sidney Cooper prefers chocolates and skirts to the work of men. If you catch my meaning, Brass never looked up. We could still hear Jim, inside. We all pulled. It moved. But it wasn't a good thing. Sydney sounds like a woman when he screams. Jim doesn't. It took us three hours to find we were trapped. We each had lunch and a bit of water. Depressing. Claude's batteries went first. Brass left to keep working at the entrance. Maybe he could dig us out. I suggested Mr. Hart would buy his way out, then send for help. Prick. I decided to help Brass. It was better than sitting around waiting to suffocate. I don't know how I got lost. An hour later I found the entrance. And Brass. I was surprised to see them so close. Where's William? They had to see. Sidney dropped his flashlight. Idiot. Claude said William had gone looking. I'm glad he didn't find me. We waited for William to return, but he didn't. A lot of time passed. Sidney announced he had to use the facilities. I heard him crawling away in the dark. I asked Claude if Sidney was a fairy. He was silent. Then I remembered they were friends. Jesus, I hope Claude wasn't one too. It was getting cold. When Sidney came back, Claude left. A few minutes later I did too. I couldn't stand being alone with that man. I found a wall and judged down a hill hoping I was right. Not that anyone could see. Wait a minute. Yes! It suddenly didn't seem so cold and dark. Then I saw Claude. By now, I knew the route by heart. Sydney was there. In the dark, I tripped. I think I was unconscious, but I don't know for how long. To 
This was my only chance. Maybe I could make it out before he came, maybe. I heard something behind me. I listened. Nothing. Maybe. I called his name. William? No answer. Where was he? He could be right next to me. I had to know. I had to see if he was there. But I only had one match left. And there he was. Nine.